DIY for St. Patrick's Day. I think this is a really good DIY to do with your children. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be for kids though because it's going to be really cute. It's really inexpensive. Um, I picked this vase up at Dollar Tree and it reminds me of a pot. So I was thinking, yeah, this would be cute for a St. Patrick's Day pot. Dollar Tree carries these gold coins, the little shamrock coins, and, and you get a fair amount of these coins in a package. And like I said, this stuff comes from Dollar Tree, so it's really inexpensive. Um, so I grabbed up about five bags because I'm using these also on my other channel uh, for another St. Patrick's Day DIY. And I'll leave a link to it below in the description box so you can come and check that out if you want to. Okay, so let's just get into the tutorial. So what I want to do is start out by painting this black. So I have some I have some Craftsmart acrylic paint and I picked this up at Michaels. And this is really inexpensive. It's less than a dollar. And I think this is flat paint. I'm not sure I'll find I'll figure it out on the inside, but um, it's up to you if you want to use flat or if you want to use um, gloss. But like I said, it's really inexpensive. It's less than a dollar. Okay, got that open. So what I want to do is just take some of this paint, put it in this little container. And I'm going to use a foam brush, but you can use a regular brush. And I'm just going to paint the outside black. And it's quite streaky so I'm sure that it's going to need multiple coats so I'm just going to get this first coat on here going to let this first coat dry completely and then I'm going to come back okay here we are with our first coat and as you can see we don't have complete coverage so I'm going to go back in with another coat and see if we need a third coat and then um, when I come back, we'll be ready to go on to the next step. Okay, guys, this is after three coats. And it's pretty opaque now, and I'm really satisfied with that. So, okay, so I could leave it like it is now and go on to the next step, which is adding the lettering. Yep. Take some Mod Podge, and you can pick this up at the Dollar Tree also. They have these little small containers. And this one is lost. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of my Mod Podge in this bowl. So I'm just going to apply my Mod Podge as smooth as I can. I'm just going to smooth this out. I'm going to do one side and then I'll apply the glitter and then I'll go on to the um, next side.
so I'm back and this is where we are. I actually ended up using a whole container of glitter. And I still have a few little spots here and there that could use some more glitter, but really it's fine the way it is. It's really pretty. I like the way that turned out. So, now that it's dry, um, you can always go over this with Mod Podge afterwards if you want to seal in more of the glitter, but I'm fine with the way it looks right now. So what I'm going to do next is take these little letters that I picked up from Michaels. I'm just going to spell out gold. And as you can see, they have the lower and uppercase alphabets. I'm going with the uppercase. And these already have adhesive on the back. I can feel it. So um, I'm going to see if it sticks to this container. If not, then I'll go ahead and use my glue gun to apply it. So I'm going to put it here. See if it sticks. Not really. Okay, so we're going to use our glue gun. And I would suggest using a low temp. This is a high temp glue gun. So it's easier to burn yourself. Oops, just like I just did. So I'm just going to apply some and then just gonna apply some at the top and put pressure. And now I'll go ahead and add more glue. Okay, so what I'll do is come back now and glue the other parts of these letters down. Okay, so this is where we are so far. Okay, so now we'll go on to our next step, and that is making a rainbow. So I've already kind of outlined with, with my Dollar Tree blade, kind of a half circle, but it's not as perfect as I want it to be, so I'm just gonna go in and straighten it up some and start cutting it out. And I'm not sure about how small I want it or how big. So I thought the scale was pretty close to what I had in mind. All right, so. Okay. And my idea is to have like a rainbow that's leading into my pot. So um, I'm pretty happy with how they look so far. I might need to um, straighten it up a little bit here and there, but I'm just going to cut. Let's see. I'm just going to cut the same shape out. In the bottom. So I'm just gonna pop that out and look at it, see if that's what I want. Let's see. Yeah, maybe. So what I wanna do is I wanna have I wanna add a cloud to this, so I'm going to go in at an angle and cut that. Yeah. And I'm going to go in here and trim this out some more. Okay. Okay, so what I'll do now is go ahead and take my foam board and cut out a cloud. And just, just go around and just make a cloud. like that. So here's my cloud 
and I'm just going to glue it on here but before I do that I'm going to paint my cloud separate and I'm gonna go ahead and paint my rainbow and I'll let you guys see as I do that too okay let's move all this stuff aside so the next step to do is to paint these and I actually picked up some pink from the Dollar Tree and one of the colors that I need for the rainbow is purple as you can see there's no purple so I tried mixing the red with the blue to get purple but it turned out really muddy but luckily I had those colors available and these acrylic paints and I was able to make some purple as you can see my cloud is already white but I still want to add paint to it so I'm just going to dip my brush into my acrylic paint and paint my cloud move it up this way just to I don't know if you can see that Okay, so our next step is to go ahead and start painting our rainbow. And I'm not going to measure and I'm not going to draw or anything. I'm just going to do like a visual in my mind as to how thick it should be. So let's start out with our purple. I went ahead and painted the top part red. So next I'll go in with some green. Then I'll finish the other two colors off camera. Uh, so we can go ahead and finish this tutorial. So yeah, so that's what I'll do now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is start off with my cloud. I'm going to apply some more Mod Podge to it. And I'm apply it to the edges as well. There's black glitter on here. So my next step is to add some of this white glitter. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside and let that dry. And as for my rainbow, I tried to use my heat gun to dry it and ended up bending my foam. So I peeled the top off and just put it on another piece of foam but in the process I have a little bit of a wrinkle here so that's what I get for rushing but now I'm just going to apply my podge to this as well I'm just going to use this iridescent glitter and just sprinkle it on there. Magic to this rainbow. You guys take your time and do a better rainbow than what I've done here. <laughs> okay, so I put my rainbow and my cloud aside, and now we are going to start putting this together. 
So the first thing that I want to do, I'm just using some paper. And I'm just going to stuff some in the bottom. And this is just taking up room so you won't have to put many coins on the inside. You don't have to do this, but if you have like five or six packs of those Dollar Tree coins, then um, you'll be good to go. So I'm just stuffing the paper on the inside like that. And I'm going to add a few of my coins. this way okay so what I'm going to do is just glue my rainbow to the side of my pot okay so now my glue gun is ready I can go ahead and glue my cloud on so I'm just going to take a little bit of glue So I have my coins in already and I'm going to add some more but first I want to go ahead and glue my rainbow on the side. This is a step that you don't have to do, I'm just doing this. And I'm just going to hold it in place. That's pretty good. I'm just going to reinforce it. Turn it around back and reinforce it. Well, with the back looking like this, I'll probably go ahead and paint the back too because it's just too plain. I don't want to leave it unfinished. Okay. So now I'm going to take a couple of my coins, maybe this one here, and just glue these on to make it appear that it's just overflowing with gold. camera died but I'm back now so let's just finish those are pretty set I think I'm going to add one more coin right below there and just hold it until it sets and you can use a low temperature heating gun and it'll dry faster Okay, so just clean up any glue webs that you see. Get it neat and clean and organized. And, any little thing you see does, that does not go, just go ahead and get that cleared up. So here's the fun part. We get to fill up our pot with gold. drop it in. There's no particular way. If you want to arrange them to look a certain way, then you can. It's up to you. But I'm just putting, well, maybe some of them I want to arrange. And maybe I'll glue, maybe even glue this one here. I kind of like the way that looks. Yeah. So I might glue that one in place. I'm just gluing it to the coin that's right there. to overfill this pot with gold and if you're lucky enough to find a leprechaun's pot of gold believe me it would be full like this
space here so you can see the cloud well that's it guys that's it our lucky pot of gold I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please leave me a thumbs up and if you are not a part of my YouTube family please feel free to do so right now it's free just hit that subscribe button and if you already are a subscriber please go ahead and hit the bell for notifications of my next video and um, as always thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys real soon